In the last class, we tried to learn the regarding perimeter. So, in this class, today we are going to learn a new topic that is called area of the plane shapes. Okay, so in the last class, we tried to learn how to find the perimeter of different plane shapes by adding the all sides. Okay, so now comes the new concept called area. What is area? Area is nothing but the surface that the plane shape occupies that is called the area so this is a square so the area that is being occupied by the square is called the area sorry the space that is being occupied by the square is called the area so if you see the area is what is this shaded portion is okay so this is called an area. So how do we find an area of different plane shapes? So in this chapter we are going to make a learn two shapes. The first one is a square and the second, second one is the area of a rectangle. So this shaded portion. So that which is being occupied by the shape. So we know that regarding the square. So all sides are equal. So for finding the area of a square, area of a square, it is easy. Nothing but if you multiply two sides together, you will get area. Okay. So area of a square is over by multiplying any two sides because all the sides are equal regarding the case of a square. So let us see the unit of Unit of area is nothing but either we can if it is measured in centimeter then we write it as square centimeter or if it is written in uh, meters then we write as square meter. So the unit for area is square centimeter or square meter. So for example we will try to find out one example. So let us say the area of the side of the square is 4 cm. Okay, so area of the side is, uh, sorry, side of the square is 4 cm. So how do you find out the area? So area of the square is equal to side into side. So that is equal to 4 into 4. That is equal to 16. Either you can write like this, centimeter square, or you can write it as square. Centimeter. So this is also one way of writing centimeter square or square centimeter. So always remember that in which unit it is given, that unit you should must read. So if it is in centimeter, the answer should be also in square centimeter or meter centimeter square. So if it is in meter, it should be in meter square, square meter, or in meter square. Okay. So that you are supposed to follow. So once again, the area of the square is the space occupied by the shape. So, since it is having both sides equal, so we take the area as side into side. So, you see, so the square centimeter or square meter is a unit that we form. So, we saw that on example. So, now comes to the case of rectangle. So, we know that rectangle has got two sides. The longer side is called the length and the shorter side is called the breadth okay so it has got four sides also so if you multiply in order to find the area of rectangle so i am showing you a small example image area of rectangle what we do it as the length into breadth so here it was two sides but we can say these two different sides are there so we multiply two different sides, that is length into breadth. So for example, the same way, the unit is same, square centimeter or square meter. And now let us see one example. For example, let it be 7 centimeter and this one be 4 centimeter. Okay, so in order to find out the area of uh, that will be 4. Okay, 7 centimeter and 4 centimeter. Length is 7 centimeter and breadth is 4 centimeter. So the area is equal to 1 length into that. So that is equal to 7 into 4. That is equal to 
20 meter. Either you can write it as centimeter square or we can write it as square centimeter. So is it clear? So I hope this is the basic idea regarding the how to find an area of a uh, different shapes. So basically two plain shapes are the one that is square and rectangle and you will learn further more in detail in coming classes. Okay, so area of the square is side to side, area of the rectangle is uh, length into breadth. Okay, so you must learn this one. Okay, I hope that is clear for you. We will learn much more. Now if it is a combination of a shapes. So let us see how will happen if there is a combination of shape comes. So one more thing I have to Yes, friends. One more thing we have to remember regarding the case of rectangle is that if the rectangle is given, if rectangle is given and its area is given, so consider that the area of the rectangle is equal to 28 square centimeter. So the area of the rectangle is given and also its breadth is given as 4. Uh, 4 centimeters. So the area is the breadth is also given as uh, 4 centimeters. So find out the length. So how do you find out the length? So we know the formula. So area is given to be x per centimeter. The breadth we know is 4 centimeters. Find out the length. So we have to find out the length. So how do you find out? The formula for area is equal to what? Length into breadth. So what do we do? We keep the length here, bring the breadth here. So in the in the last class, in the last in the section chapter, I try to teach you. Whenever a multiplication is taken to the other side of the equal to, it becomes what? It becomes division. And a division is taken to the other side, that will become multiplied. So you see, so the length is equal to area divided by so that is equal to one. So area is given here to be and divided by breadth is 4. And that is equal to 7 centimeters. Understood? So you must remember this is a case of the if it was breadth, then the same case breadth is equal to area by length. So you must learn this one also. Okay. If area is given, find the ask to find out length or breadth of the rectangle. In the case of square, it will not come because all the sides are equal. But in the case of rectangle, it is different. That's why I am reminding you. Okay. So in the case of a rectangle, the length and breadth are different. So that is why we have to use this method in order to find which one is missing. So this is the case of missing one. So now let us learn regarding the combination of shapes. So if two shapes are combined and together, then given. So what do you do? So for example. So think about it. There are uh, two combinations, two shapes are given. So uh, if you are asked to find out the total area of the total area of this shape, so how will you find out? So there are two different ways. Either you can make them as two rectangles. Okay. Either you can make them as two rectangles or you can make them as one square and rectangle. Okay, so both the case you can do. So this is actually
So this is actually a complex from two states. So let's see how do we do it. So first of all, we will in this chapter we will in this image we will try to make this as a square. So we will make this as a square. So this is one centimeter. So this is will become one centimeter. Since this one is also one centimeter, so this one will become one centimeter. Okay. So you see these two lengths are equal. That's why I have one centimeter here. Because this is one centimeter here and this is one centimeter. So you see this this measurement is same as this centimeter. So this is one centimeter. So this one also will be one centimeter. So first of all we will find the area of the square. So we have to deal with that. Okay. Remember that. First we have to find that. So we will give that A, B, C. B, E, F, and G. Okay, so we will name the first. So the area of the square. What is the name of the square? A, B, C, G. A, B, C, G. That is equal to R. Uh, what is the formula for area of the square? Sine into sine. And what is the value of sine into sine? Like this. One into one. That is equal to one square centimeter. Okay. So is it clear? The first part we do. First we made the measure square. We give it an imaginary line and join it. So since both sides are equal, so it can be considered as square. So this is one centimeter from all sides. So sine to sine is the formula for area of square. And the area of the square is A B C G, and that is equal to one into one, and that is equal to one. So now let us consider the area of the rectangle. So area of the rectangle. What is the name of the rectangle? That is G B E F. G B E F. So What is the length of this much to this much? It is given here. This is actually eight centimeter. So uh, length is so what is first formula we write? The area of the formula is length into breadth. So let us see what is the length. The length is actually two sides. This long sides are called two sides. That is eight centimeter. They are same. So that is eight into. What is the breadth? Breadth is actually given here. These are two same sides. So actually that is four centimeter. So that is equal to eight into four is thirty-two. So thirty-two square centimeter is the area of this uh, rectangle. So rectangle G D E F. So formula for it is length into breadth. So what is the length? Length is actually the longest part of the rectangle. That is eight centimeter. Okay. So that is eight centimeter and breadth. So breadth is what? Breadth is four centimeter. So multiplying it, we have to find it. That is thirty-two square centimeter. So now we will see the total area. So the total area is equal to. We have to add on this one. So one square centimeter plus thirty. So Thirty-two plus one that is equal to thirty-three square centimeter is the total area of this shape. So that is the total area of this shape. I hope this is clear for you. Plus we have to divide it into different shapes. So what is the possible shape that we can divide it into very good? So this is one of the easiest method. So we have some difficult methods in the text. So that we will discuss and learn right now. I hope that is clear for you. Okay. So 